you're an agent and you're gonna sell a house, let's call it $500,000. And on a TV show, they're going to say, great, you sold it at $500,000 and say you charged a 3% commission. They're gonna say $15,000 paid to by the sellers or the buyers or whatever the case is. The point is they make it seem like the agent just got 3%, which is $15,000 on that sale of a $500,000 property. I'm gonna walk through what an actual profit looks like from an agent so that you have an understanding of what's actually more realistic. My name is Garth Ward and I've helped hundreds of real estate agents do hundreds of real estate transactions. And if you're looking for real estate related content, educational content, branding content, please consider liking and subscribing. Leave me a comment below if there's a specific video that you're looking for in the real estate space that I might be able to help you with. The first thing you need to consider is all of the things that are going to be taken away before you even get your paycheck or your wire. And the first thing to happen is state or city taxes. Uh, the How the commission actually functions is you close a house, it goes to your brokerage, and then your brokerage sends it to the agent. Now, the brokerage gets charged things like state taxes, B&O taxes, and city taxes. And that comes off before any of the charges that your office has for you. Now, for the purposes of this scenario, city taxes change all the time. Let's just call that taxes $500. And now we're dealing with $14,500. After taxes is taken away, your company or the brokerage that you decide to work for will take what's called a split most of the time. And uh, let's just use 20% for a generalized average across the marketplace. And that is the next step. So you have your taxes, then you have your split, and let's call it 20%, which, it, which in this scenario would be $2,900. That fee ranges anywhere from $50 to $1,000. But for the purpose of this video, let's call it $300 for a generalized number, putting us at a crisp $3,200 off of that $14,500 that was $15,000. So now that you've gone through all of those hoops to figure out how much you actually make, uh, you have gotten rid of your taxes, your split, your fee, and you are left with what most agents call their net. You start with the $15,000 gross or the GCI or gross commission income. You subtract out the taxes, splits, and fees, and you are left with what most people will call their net. But here is the rub. <laughs> if you are not doing the true math, you can't know how much you actually made. Let's pretend this sale was a listing. Well, you're not done. Number one, you do get a wire or a check for that $11,300. That's true. But let's do the math on what you actually make. To start, we have to look at how much taxes you're going to pay. Most places, jobs, and other things, they have withholdings of taxes. As a real estate agent, you will have to withhold your own taxes. So let's say for the purposes of this video that you're going to withhold a generalized amount and let's call it... Uh, just for easy numbers that you're going to withhold $2,300 from the $11,300. That puts us at $9,000. Now, because you had to pay that in taxes. We haven't addressed how much you paid in marketing and advertising and signs and gas and all of that. So let's get into that specifics and then let's find out what you actually made on the property. The helpful part of this specific example is the marketing and the expenses are not going to be extremely high because the price of the property doesn't necessarily warrant things like commercials and billboards and things like that or magazine uh, layouts and newspaper layouts and articles. It doesn't require that. So what's the actual cost likely to be? Well, let's pretend in this scenario that you're doing things at a really high level and everything you're having done is really professional. Let's say you're spending 
$700 on high-end photography and $300 on a 3D tour and $300 on flyers and $200 on a sign in a lockbox. Where does that put you? Well, very, very expensive. <laughs> All of those costs associated with trying to sell that specific property in this example, assuming you don't have any other costs, that puts your total costs at $1,500. That's out of pocket before you sell the property. And then you're going to get the $11,300 wired to you, but then you're going to still have to pay the $2,300 in taxes. So what did you actually make on the $500,000 property that you got a 3% commission for? On TV, they would say $15,000. In reality, you made $7,500, meaning when you charge a 3% commission, at least in this example, you're actually getting a 1.5% commission. If you want to learn how I do my listing presentations to beat high-end luxury firms all the time and to win appointments against 20 agents on high-end luxury properties, my video coming up soon will go through the exact presentation that I take my sellers through and how I present it to them and add value in a stack proposition so that they can understand the value I'm bringing to the table to make sure that I am maximizing my commissions when I have the appointments with sellers.